Fuck Prison's no. way better than county. Fuck yeah. County sucks. I remember a guy was like, he said, you understand that I'll get there in the morning. That night I'll be eating ice cream. I mean, he was, I'm going to, they're going to count me. I'm going to go walk the track for about an hour or two. I might play handball. That night I'll have somebody get me a, a, an ice cream. I'll be taking a hot shower. I'll be, and, and you're sitting there going, like, I, I want to get sentenced. The guys are at the windows. All the doors are locked. The guys are at the windows, banging on the windows. Put that one in here. Yeah. Put that one in here. Big fucking huge guys with tattoos. That one. I want him. I want him. And I mean, I swear, the guys. Fresh fish. That, uh, fresh fish. Fresh fish. <laughs> guys behind me and in front of me are like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I go, you guys are fucking with you. We're in a low. This is a low holdover. They're just fucking with They're you. fucking with you. I promise. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, I don't think I can do this, man. I don't think. I'm like, it's fine. They're fucking with you. I've heard stories about you going to prison and then there's like the a bunch sticker. of cake, the cakes and stuff like that yeah, on, yeah. on your bed. Yeah, the Snickers like, bar. Yeah, the Snickers bars and stuff like that on your bed. You better not eat that Snickers yeah. bar. I used to have a guy that used to bring a Snickers every once in a while and he'd go, hey, Cox, you know, like this with the Snickers. I mean, cut the fucking shit. So this went on. Four or five times for about a, a two or three weeks. Well, now I know who the guy. Right. I kind of know and I know, realize that he's not doing anything. Right. So one day I watched, he goes, hey, Cox. And I go, I said, damn, bro. I snatch it out of his hand. I open it and I bite it. And he goes, what the fuck, man? Fuck, bro. Are you serious? <laughs> you cashed in that wolf ticket. Right. You would have, but, <laughs> but the first few times, like, it was questionable. Yeah, is it was he fucking question. with me? Because like, he's trying he, you up. He's testing you. I'd rather much rather do prison time. Than county time because county oh, yeah. fucking sucks. The guys the whole time you're in county are like, I, I, there were guys that I kept hearing them say, man, I just want to get sentenced to go to prison. And it was oh. like, and I was like, pr I always thought, well, prison's worse than this, right? And they were like, fuck, fuck no. no. Fuck prison's no. way better than county. Fuck yeah. County sucks. I remember a guy was like, he said, you understand that I'll get there in the morning. That night I'll be eating ice cream. I mean, he was, I'm going to, they're going to count me. I'm going to go walk the track. For about an hour or two, I might play handball. That night, I'll have somebody get me a, a, an ice cream. I'll be taking a hot shower. I'll be, and, and you're sitting there going, like, I, I want to get sentenced. Like, yeah. I want to go to prison. But it's the too. unknown because, you, you know, you're watching these movies. And, you know, of course, I, I myself, I'm not to say that I wasn't, like, nervous about going to prison. You right. know what I mean? Obviously, I was. You know what I mean? But once, like, once you've been down there and you understand and, like, I, I was a rowdy kid. I was never scared to throw down. So, like, once you know that, like, you can earn that respect. Yeah, the freedom's down in prison is so much more. Like, you literally get out in the morning. You're out all day watching TV, yeah. gambling, You don't have, playing basketball. have very little interaction with the police anymore. Yeah, very little interaction with anything. So, it's kind of like you're, 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 you're kind of left on your own to kind of do, do, do your time. You know, whereas in county, they're so like strict and it's all about control. And, you know, you, literally in Gwinnett County. Like you literally only got four hours outside of your room a day. So right. it's 20 hour lockdown. You know what I mean? Like, fuck that shit. I much rather go out here, like send me to Gen Pop. You know what I mean? Because I much rather have the freedom and not. And so what? A fight's a fight. <laughs> what the right. hell is that? You know what I'm saying? I, I was just thinking um, I was being transferred one time. So I'm being transferred. Like they put you on the bus. They, you know, they ship the you. The bluebird. We call yeah. it the bluebird. So I got shipped from Coleman. I was going through uh, Atlanta. And you were in, you, you served time in Florida. Yeah. Well, yes. Okay. Well, I mean, I got caught in, um, yeah, I got, I got caught in Nashville. And so I went from Nashville to like, um, I think, uh, was it? Alabama, and then they they send you through like the Oklahoma City, like the transfer center. I was there for a couple of weeks, so I got moved around. But at one point, from Coleman, I was going through uh, through Atlanta. But they you know they, you know they bring the bus. You spend two days here, so then they bring you here two days here. Jackson, I, I no, I went to um I this I remember this was um oh god it was a Tallahassee, Florida. But what's so funny is they bring the bus in right. So there's probably ten or twelve of us. They give us our our bedroll. And we're walking to ourselves. And it was late. It was like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. And, but keep in mind, I've been locked up like nine, 10 years. No, I've been locked up. You know, I think I've been locked up about eight years at this point. So I'd already been, I did three years in the medium. I'd been a, a year in the county jail. I was already at the low. Right. So I'm walking with my bedroll and there's a couple of guys behind me. But some of the guys that were around me, like they were still in tra being transferred. They haven't right. been sentenced, nothing. They've barely been to, to even the county jail yet. They've been in a week or two, maybe a couple months. So as we're walking, and we're all from the low. So, but you know, while well, we're low security, but right. these guys got picked up 
at the uh, at one of the um, U.S. Marshals holdovers. So they've really been designated, but they're low guys. So we're walking with the bedroll, and we go up on the second tier, and we're there, you know the cops were following the cop, and he's like, "Here, you know, Johnson, this is your room." So, but so as we're walking, this is criminal. These are these are fucking these are criminals. The guys, it's eleven. 12 o'clock at night, the guys are at the windows. All the doors are locked. The guys are at the windows, banging on the windows. Put that one in here. Yeah. Put that one in here. Big fucking huge guys with tattoos. That one. I want him. I want him. And I mean, I swear, the guys. Fresh fish. That are, Fresh fish. Fresh yeah. fish. Guys behind me and in front of me are like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I go, you guys are fucking with you. We're in a low. This is a low holdover. <laughs> they're just fucking with they're you. They're fucking with you. I promise. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, I don't think I can do this, man. I don't think. I'm like, it's fine. They're fucking with you. I can't be in with one of these guys. I can't be that. Like, it reminds you of uh, Shawshank Redemption, it does. right? And making it Shawshank Redemption when it they does, used to make but bets. They were, but, but they were serious. You oh, know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The freshmen, but, but, they're but, doing but, the bets. But, 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 yeah. that, and I'm sitting there like laughing because I'm thinking, I was so fucking. Of course, I was scared when I first got right. locked up. And I'm sitting there like, you guys, I'm, I swear to you these guys are fucking these guys are in the holdover this is a low security holdover so they're not going to put you you're a low guy right. they're not going to put you in with someone who's going to rape you or murder you or not at this level now that may happen later but at this level i promise you, you guys are fine right. and so i think the next day when we came home came came out for um for breakfast like some of the guys were, were that were terrified were like bro my fucking cool he's, my, my cell is so cool bro he <laughs> you were almost in tears last night <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's 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 a game, but yeah. it's it's a game and yet not a game, because they do test to see who's weak. Yeah, they, you know what I mean. A, this was a little trend. We were going to be there for two days. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's getting calm. There's commissary. Nobody's there, so it wasn't that bad of it. And you knew it. And I, and I listened. And I was 100 percent right. Like you're right. It could have gone the other way, right. but it didn't. Like as soon as I walked in, like you know, there was like a the guy my, like my celly like you know got up and he was like, "Hey, bro, what's up, man?" Um, Look, I, I got my stuff here. Hold on, let me get my stuff off the bed. Like he's clearing his stuff off the bed. Like he's, you know, he knows. He's like, right. you know, he's he's in transfer too. He's like, look, we got to be in here together. Like let, let's. Yeah, you got you got you got to be cool with yourself. Yeah, because there are times you have to admit. So there are times you were in prison and you met some guys that were just off the chain cool guys. Just oh, decent my squad guys. Yeah, right? you have to have your your. I mean, even regardless of a gang or whatever affiliation in, in prison, you got to have like I said, those guys that had your back that yeah. can look behind you. You know, where you can't see, you know, you have to have that close knit of, knit of friends. You know who takes care of themselves? Like the Mexicans. Oh, yeah. When the Mexicans get there, you could be a Mexican, go into a unit and you walk in and they're like, yo, bro, where are you from? Boom, boom, boom. I got you. I got shower slides for you. I've got soap. I've got like they would have like a whole kit. And sometimes the white guys, some, sometimes the white guys would do it. The black guys never really did that for each other that I saw. And. Sometimes the white guys would do it for each other. They were such a small group, but the Mexicans would take care. I mean, like, bro, give me a list. I'm going to the store tonight. I'll send somebody to get your list. Like, it was like, like they were set up. But see, that comes at a cost. Oh, okay. It comes at a cost because now they just grew one more member of their numbers. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and yeah. now that guy owes He's them. He's expected. That to, guy owes them. Right. So if now somebody, if they were to reach out and ask him a favor, he would now feel obligated right. to do what he's got to yeah, do, yeah, yeah. right? So I mean, everything comes at a cost, you know. Um, you know, the the one of the big jokes is the, I, and this never happened to me, but I, yeah, I've heard stories about you go into prison and then there's like the a bunch sticker. of cake, the cakes and stuff like that yeah, all yeah. on your bed, yeah, the like, Snickers bar, yeah, the Snickers bars and stuff like that on your bed. You better not eat that Snickers yeah. bar, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you think that's a gift? <laughs> I used to tell the guys would say, "Well, what's the difference between the medium and the low?" I'd go. Well, I said, you know, the thing, difference is that, you know, someone puts a fucking Snickers bar and you're at a medium, don't eat it. Someone puts a Snickers bar on your pillow in the low, you can eat it. You'll be all right. Because that dude shows up and you'll be like, yeah, I ate the fucking Snickers bar. Fuck you. You don't want to go nowhere. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to fucking fight. You don't want to this. You know, you're playing around. But that's because you're willing to like, you know. Right. Yeah, but but the, it, he might try you It was like probably that, though, a yeah. joke though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Probably. Could be, yeah. Oh, I had, listen, I taught GED and I used to have with zach and we used to have guy, i used to have a guy that used to bring us snickers every once in a while and he'd go hey cox you know like this with the snickers i mean cut the fucking shit so this went on four or five times for about a, a two or three weeks but now i know who the guy right. i kind of know and i know realize that he's not doing anything right so one day i watched he goes hey cox and i go i said damn bro i snatch it out of his hand i open it and i bite it and he goes what the fuck man fuck bro are you serious <laughs> 
<laughs> you cashed in that wolf ticket. Right. You would have, but, <laughs> but the first few times, like, it was questionable. Yeah, is was he fucking questionable. with me? Because like, he's trying he... you up. He's testing you. It's right. All, it's all about testing right. and seeing where somebody's heart's at. And that's, and that's all it is. Like, even like me, like I said, as long as you're willing, like, there's so much easier to go to the next guy who's not going to be willing to buy right. than, than to even deal with it. You know what I mean? So like once you, once you get known to just like, Hey, this guy's just not going to, it's just not going to come easy. Right. Then they're going to leave you alone. And in prison, it was a lot easier than that because the revolving door wasn't as, you know, my rep, it was, it was big. The reputation w- would, would be known more. It was just, it just, altercations happen because they just happen to happen not because somebody was intentionally trying to go after me or something like that you know what i mean but like on right street like i said that was like a revolving door i was like constantly like learning i mean i don't think i ever not had a bruise on me at some point in my body mm-hmm. <laughs> at all times you know um but yeah like even then even in prison it's like a code like hey let's take it to the room there's no need for the police to know about this so you never went, but you never on that charge you you did all three years in the in county. county which was the, well, the hardest sucks. time though believe it or not yeah but, but you'd rather than five years in prison than three years in the county absolutely because like i said that and it was weird because like i was in rice street for a year right and then they finally came up with a bond for me for that for that charge so i was thinking oh i'm gonna post bond and get out well, Gwinnett County still had a hold on me from those burglary charges, right? So I didn't, I posted a bond and just went straight to another county. Mm. And I'm like, well, at least at Gwinnett County, I didn't have to fight last right. week. You know what I mean? But I, I ended up sitting in there yeah. for two years till I finally like, went out to trial and like, well, I didn't go out to trial, but we pleaded out and, you know, I, I got out. Yeah, that was, I was say, and I'm sure you've heard this before. That, that was a, that was my my buddy of Zach. That was his thing. Was like he actually had new charges, and they gave him a bond, but he he was on federal probation. So his federal probation had been revoked. So he's like, you know, all his whole everybody that knows him is like, why don't you bond out? Like your your bond is nothing. He's like, don't you understand? I'll bond out, and I'll as soon as I walk out the door, they'll pick me up and bring me to the federal fucking holdover, and I won't bond out. Like I might as well stay here. You know that happens all the time. Right. Like you've got outstanding warrants. They're like, bro, your bond's ten grand for a grand. You can get out. No, like if you haven't been through the system, you don't know how it works. Well, I we we bonded out because they my family called up to the jail. It's like, hey, does he have any kind of hold on him? Right. They said no. Right. So you did so bond they, out. They 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 posted the bond. But then I never made it out because then the whole oh I thought you comes. knew and you want you wanted to be moved no oh okay uh, I mean I, I'm well you're in you're in I don't give a fuck what county <laughs> you know what I mean? like yeah it sucks that it was Rice yeah. Street and all but still well you said the other one was better it, it wasn't necessarily no not necessarily better because Rice Street actually yeah I I got in a lot of fights but. You got free time. You open the doors open in the morning. You're out all day. You do what the fuck you want. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Whereas when I counted, you're locked down 20 hours a day in your room. Like I like I said, I'd rather be in Gen Pop. Yeah. You know? It's, it's funny how different all the different facilities. Every facility is different. Yeah. Some of them will, will no commissary and they feed you like shit. Other ones, they feed you good and you've got great commissary and you're out and you're like, right. you know, then they've got, you know, multiple TVs. Other ones, they don't have any TVs and they don't have, it's like, Jesus, it's. It's one extreme to the to other. other. Yeah, some of them, and some of them won't even barely feed you the. Uh, um, they won't barely feed you enough calories to stay alive, and the, the food is crap. And the other ones will feed you great. Like oh yeah, you know, I, 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 federal prison wasn't horrible. It wasn't bad food. It federal time is actually easier time. Yeah. Oh, it's of just course. it's just that, state. But they don't have the paroles. The the suck part.